you a busy teacher and you're looking for an easy way to get organized? Well, checklists are a great way to do that. I love checklists because I feel successful as I'm checking things off the list. Now, a great way to use checklists is in Google Docs, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create them in Google Docs. So here's a sample checklist I created. And what's great about this checklist is that it's interactive, so when you click on it, there it is, it strikes through, so you know you've checked off the item and you are feeling good about yourself because you're getting things done. So let me show you how easy it is to create these. So all you do is in Google Docs, go to File, New, and create a new document. Come over here to the right where it says Checklist, the little check marks, click on that and the little check box will appear. Type in the item that you want. Maybe you want to keep yourself organized for the week. This is great at the beginning of the school year. You can put in um, the things that you need. But maybe you want to make sure you, that you're taking attendance every day. Maybe you need to grade some papers. Maybe you need to, um, you know, create your small group. So anyway, that's it. That's how simple it is. And again, all you do is click the little check checkbox and it strikes through, it checks it out. Now let's say that you want to also use this with your students. Maybe you are going to have a um, group project and you want to divide tasks. Or maybe you want to use it like me, um, have a, uh, a bar, a checklist of students and divide the student work. So for instance, I have classroom helpers and I have helpers that help me set up you know, the classroom every day, like write the bell work on the board, things like that. Collect papers, clean up, you can do that too. So let me show you how easy it is to do this. So let's go over here where it says insert, and we're gonna insert a table, and you can make it as big as you want. And then just, you know, name your task. So maybe who's gonna collect papers? who is going to clean up, and who is going to write the bail work, or whatever the task is. All right, and then you just um, come right here, click the little check bar, the little check box right there, and then type in the name. So let's say Jane and John, etc. And you just make your little checklist. Um, you come over here, do the same thing, Say Jenny, Billy. Again, repeat. And who else? Let me think of another name. These are all made up now. It's Charles and Sarah. All right, here we go. So that's it. And then as they're doing it, you can check them off. They can check themselves off, and that's it. So it's a great way. Um, these checklists and Google Docs are so great because, again, they're interactive. You can check them off, feel great about yourself, very accomplished, and they're super easy to create. I hope you got value out of this. By the way, if you want more tips, make sure you follow the Tech for Well English Teachers Facebook page. Come on over and join our Facebook group, the Tech for Well English Teachers Facebook group. We have over 15,000 teachers just like you, world language teachers. We share tips and resources, and I also have our PD Academy where I'm in there every day. There are on-demand trainings and no prep resources that are designed specifically for world language teachers to help save you time and engage your students. Thanks for watching. Bye.